daytime? I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I have a secret. Miraculous. My good old friend Bob, how wonderful to see you. And you brought little Xavier Eves with you, too. Uh, my peeps call me XY, if you don't mind, Mr. Mayor. Xavier Eves sounds way too. XY, of course, famous DJ XY. <laughs> it's an honor for the palace to receive such a fantastic artist and his father. Does that mean dinner's on the house, then? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> You're too much, Bob. Always the comedian. Enjoy your meal. Bon appetit. Uh, I tried. Okay, we need to talk about this special TV appearance you're going to be making. You know, this will be a major promotional event for you. You got any new material to premiere? New ideas? Of course not, Dad. You know I never have any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so let me hear what you've ripped... Uh, well, I mean, what you've come up with this year. Isn't it a bit similar to what you were doing last year? Oh, sure. Yeah, I guess I ripped off my own music. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. No one will know the difference anyway. Image is king. What kind of visuals you got going? Any concepts? Any what? Oh, forget it. I'll use the same plan that's made me the rich man I am today. If you're short on great ideas, borrow someone else's. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for new talent. Stunning musical and visual skills are a must with a brand new style that everyone will die for. You have two weeks to send in your videos. It's oh. the perfect opportunity oh. to showcase oh. kitty section. And the stage clothes you designed, Marinette. <laughs> If we all pitch in, two weeks is more than enough time to make an awesome video. Everyone in? Here we go! Kitty section! You know I love you and cool. This is so awesome. We're so in the moment. This song's fun and totally sincere. Mm -hmm. Hey, Marinette. Huh? Still no news about the contest? Maybe they didn't like our song. They must have received a ton of videos. They probably haven't made their pick yet. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <gasps> you better take a look at this, guys. Why? You really are done yourself this time. How did you come up with a style that's so original? It's all in here. But that's our original style. Your unicorn and your mask. That's, that's your melody. It's your music. That's not fair. That should be you guys up there on TV. There better be a good explanation. We have to have it out with Bob Roth and XY. They're not here right now. Seriously? They're right there on live screen. You're not allowed in. You don't have an invitation, and the show already started. But it's our show. Not our problem, miss. Mm. <laughs> ah! Help! Our first lady comments to see if I can catch more of you to save us, Stop messing around, kids. It's not gonna work. We've got work to do. So get out of here and go watch the show at home. Wow! Awesome, XY! Such a 180 from your last record! This might be your best yet! So tell me, where did you get the inspiration for all this new material? It's nothing, really. Not like I came up with the whole song in a minute. In five minutes? He couldn't even sing it the way it's supposed to be sung. And his mask isn't even a good ripoff. 
Mr. Roth! Mm -hmm. My name's Marinette Dupan Ching. I'm the one who sent you the kitty section video. Video? What video? I don't know what you're talking about, kid. Maybe I can jog your memory? Look! The costumes, the mask, the music, the dance moves. They're all the same. There's no comparison. This here is some amateur garage band. My son is a solo artist. You guys play instruments. His music is all digital. Our unicorn is much cooler, and our masks are nothing like yours. That's not true. You copied Marinette's costumes. And it's the exact same song. You stole Luca's music. Oh, come on. Let's not exaggerate now. We may have just been a little bit inspired, that's all. Inspired? You flat out stole. You didn't design this mask. Marinette did. Listen, it's not too late to do the right thing. Just tell the truth and let Kitty Section appear on the show. That's all we're asking. Yeah. First they'll want to be in the show. Then they'll be asking for a cut of the profits. No way. Never saw or heard of Kid in the Vision. Forget it, Marinette. It's no big deal. Let's just go. No, it's not fair. I won't stand by and let my friend's work get stolen. If you won't tell the truth, then I will. Right now, on the air, live. If you do that, I'll tell them you're the copycats, not me. I've got all the music biz eating out of my hand. So who do you think they're gonna believe? Me or a group of nobodies? You'll never have a future in this business. You'll never make another costume. And there'll be no more music for your buddies. Because as far as everyone's concerned, you'll be the ripoff artist. I'm detecting the echo of a very rare emotion. The anger of a creator whose work has been stolen, who also cannot bear to see the one he loves suffer. Fly away, my little Akuma, and evilize this pure soul! <laughs> Not quite so cocky now, are we? Silencer, I am Hawkmoth. This man is the voice of evil. I'm giving you the power to silence him for good. All I ask of you in return are Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. Do we have an agreement, Silencer? I'll take your silence as a yes. Do you have any idea how much work it took me to copy your costumes? I'm best from Phoenix. What's that? Don't worry, Marinette. I would never hurt you. I will use the power Hawk Moth has given me to restore justice. I will force Bob Roth to admit what he has done to you and Kitty Section. Don't do that, Luca. That's revenge, not justice. And if you team up with Hawk Moth, you'll have to face Cat Noir and Ladybug. Cat Noir and Ladybug? Where were they when we needed them? As now, Silencer is laying down the law of silence. You're the most extraordinary girl, Marinette. As clear as a musical note, and as sincere as a melody. You are the music that's been playing inside my head since the day we first met. I won't let anything happen to you. Did that sound like a declaration of love to you? I think so. Which is kind of weird coming from a villain. Perhaps Luca feels the same way. Do you think? Oh. Stay focused, Marinette. <laughs> You can't get away from me, Bob Roth. I will make you tell the truth live on TV. Don't touch me. I'm warning you. I'm well connected. One call to Mr. Bourgeois, and he'll bring the police for me. The whole army if he has to. I can't let you do the silencer. And about time, too. What are you waiting for? Uh -oh. Get to work. Uh, listen, Luca. Silencer, you don't know what you're doing. Hawk Moth is evil. You think you're using your power for good, but you're wrong. Uh. Oh, come on. Stop mincing around and protect me. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Sorry, Ladybug. Occupational hazard, I guess. No hard feelings. Bye.
You shouldn't have stood in my way, Ladybug. No lucky charm this time, Ladybug. You'd need your voice for that, and I'm the one who's got it. You can run, Ladybug, but you can't get away from me for long. Don't let her escape you, Silencer. She's vulnerable! Don't worry, Hawk Moth. Now that I've got Ladybug's voice, I have a plan to get a hold of her and Cat Noir's Miraculous. But first, revenge! Ladybug? Looks like we got a problem. Flag, hold up! Meow, the lady sent me some messages. I bet she misses me. <gasps> Where are you hiding, Bob Roth? You're definitely good at hiding. But you won't get away from me. I've got plans for you, too. I'm right here, m'lady. Uh, I'm here now, so go ahead and fill me in. Uh, of course. I should have thought of that. Hey, that's not very nice. You're right. Let's go. We'll get your voice back and talk ourselves out of this mess. I don't want to be catty, but I really don't know what you mean. We've got a major problem. I can't call out my lucky charm or say miraculous ladybug. Ah, you've definitely got a point there. The magic ladybugs won't be able to fix up all the damage caused by silencer. And you can't say the detransformation words, which means you'll be a mute ladybug for the rest of your life? But it has its advantages in a way. Now you'll never be able to pick on my jokes. I'm kidding, lady. Don't worry. You always get us out of the worst fixes. Meanwhile, I'll be able to babble to my heart's content. Get away from me, you filthy critters! Andre! Andre, it's me! I need you to sit in the troops. No problem, Bob. I'll take care of it. Where are you? The one place in Paris you probably never stepped foot in. The sewers! Don't worry. I'll send the police in right away. Mayor Bourgeois here. Get me Officer Roger. Maybe I could imitate your voice. Lucky charm! Lucky charm! Lucky charm! Lucky charm! Uh, yeah, okay, I'll shut up now. Uh, cat got your tongue? No. A night at the opera? You want to make Silencer say the words Lucky Charm with the voice he stole from you. Very smart! Now let's hear how you're gonna do that. Don't even think about it, m'lady. It'll never work. You're right, though. We don't have much of a choice. Uh, uh. Thank you, Officer Roger. Thanks for looking out for your fellow citizens. <laughs> Mr. Roth, you're under arrest. What? This is a big misunderstanding! Where are you taking me? Mayor's orders. Mr. Bourgeois and I have been friends for a very long time, and... Yes, we're nearly there, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Officer. Yeah, oh. but who are you? At your command, Mr. Mayor. What I wouldn't give for another person. No, let me I go. can take your voice, Bob Roth, and make you say whatever I please, but that's not what I want. I want you to admit what you did to Marinette and her friends with your own voice. Never. I'd rather be silent. You really think I can't make you? Listen, I can ruin your reputation just like you threatened to do with Marinette. Everyone in showbiz knows me. I'll make sure you lose every single one of your friends. I'll put you in prison. I'll never sing for you, Dad. You'll never make another dime from my music. We'll make, make your life a nightmare. nightmare. Wait, stop, okay? I'll do it. I'll tell the truth. 
Dear viewers, we're back on the air for an exclusive interview with Bob Roth. Is something very important Wait, my lady, it might be too early to pull off your crazy plan. We could wait for Bob Roth to actually tell the truth. Then justice would be served for Kitty's section, wouldn't it? It would be revenge, not justice, and being coerced into telling the truth is meaningless. You're right, Melina. You're not much fun, but you do have a point. We have to save it. Come on! We got all the time in the world. We might as well have a bit of fun. Keep your nose out of other people's business, Kitty, or I'll silence you. That would be a shame considering how hilarious I am. Where'd he go? You're gonna have to do better than that, Ladybug, if you're gonna defeat this supervillain. Isn't that you and Cat Noir's job? This is all that band's fault, those kitty whatchamacallits. None of this would have happened if they hadn't made such a fuss about their so-called ideas. Oh no! I can't find Ladybug anywhere! How will I ever get out of this mess without her? Cat Noir! I'm over here! Lady, if you've gotten your voice back, then you've defeated Silencer! It's safe to come and find you! Yes, yes, there's no danger now. Meet me outside the studio. I'll wait for you. Okay, I'm coming. I'll meet you outside the studio door. You've got to be the dumbest superheroes ever. How could you let the bad guy in on your plan? And what's with this fake lucky charm? I thought it was supposed to be magic or something, but it's actually just some crafty special effects. You took your time. Did something hold you up? You had us, didn't you, Silencer? But you're wrong. Ladybug still has her superpowers. That's impossible. I took your voice from you. How could you possibly have summoned up your lucky charm? I don't see how this is going to work any better than a lamp, but at least you got yourself a real lucky charm. I'm warning you, buddy. You haven't heard the last from Ladybug. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. its advantages. Miraculous Ladybug! Give us back our voices! Ah, much better. What happened? You were akumatized, but everything's fine now. This is outrageous, Ladybug. You tied me up and imprisoned me in a dressing room. Me? I did that? That doesn't sound like me at all. The ladybug and cat got you. Serves you right. What did you think, kid? That I was going to tell everyone the truth? That I stole Kitty Section song and your girlfriend's costumes so I could give them to my talentless son? Huh? You didn't think that superheroes would come to save me. Huh? That's right. They work for me now. What's up with you guys? Why are you all smiling like that? We're smiling because you're on the air, Mr. Roth. <laughs> Everything you just said was broadcast live. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. It was all just a big joke. I actually happen to love the Band Kitten Division. In fact, I love them so much that I was just about to sign them to their first record deal. And now, they're gonna finish off this show with their very own song. I didn't mention it earlier to keep it a surprise, but it was my idea.